Hi, welcome to the SID 2021 Virtual Keynote. I am J.S. Choi, CEO of Samsung Display. Though my career has spent more than 20 years in the field of semiconductors after school days, I found that displays and the semiconductors really have a lot in common. The video we just saw was the future direction and vision of display presented by Samsung Display eight years ago during 2013 SID keynote. How do you feel the vision of Samsung long time ago? Doesn't it feel very similar to the world we live in now? From the moment we wake up to the moment we sleep. We live in a world surrounded by displays, smartphones, tablets, laptops, monitors, our cars and more. And in particular, in this new normal society after COVID-19, we are feeling the effects of remote meetings, work and education more than ever. And with our mouse, noses now covered by masks and a limited touch, three of our five senses have been diminished giving even more importance to the role that vision plays in our lives. Samsung Display has always strived not just to bring people more vibrance and beauty, but to also provide a useful display experience. This is because, as mentioned earlier, we believe that displays are the windows that connect people. Samsung Display succeeded in mass production of AM OLED in 2007 for the first time in the world and has continued to change the world through constant innovation. OLED, which truly began with the Samsung Display, is now recognized as the world's most outstanding premium display and is widely used in various fields. Look at all these marvelous products for 2020 and 2021. We have worked with the most successful companies around the world for the most innovative products. At the time of 2013, with an announcement, OLED market share was only a single digit. But as of last year, it has grown to take up 24% of the display market and 57% of the smartphone. Looking back at it all, these were all really important pages in our history. In recent years, the response from customers has been extremely positive in regard to our OLED technologies for foldable and laptop products. Let's take a moment to see what makes them special. Though there were numerous difficulties and technical barriers, we haven't stopped innovation. An important value for us to learn from the past is that we must not only constantly think and consider, but also eventually try. So then, what can self-luminous displays, including OLED, try to achieve in the coming era of disruption? 
to bring our total market governance beyond 50%. Let's take a look. No change up until now has come quickly. We are now standing on the inflection point of even greater change than ever before. The fact that this keynote itself now comes to you as a part of the virtual world and metaverse serves as a proof of this change. Over the past few decades, the world has witnessed a digital revolution. It started with mainframes and PCs, and analog storage media was replaced with the digital one like CDs. This was so-called era of digitization. CRT TVs and monitors were mainstream display during that time. The next era was digitalization. Office automation progressed. Broadcasting became digital, online advertising, shopping and entertainment immersed. In 1990s, thanks to the invention of flat panel LCDs, the laptops and IT fields grew rapidly. And after 2010s, the spread of smartphones brought more people from more regions around the world into the digital and internet domains. Based on this progression, we are now moving toward the era of digital transformation. We are no longer limited to specific areas like online ads and shopping, as all areas of life have come into the cloud and all connected world. So what direction will this place advance toward in this era? Let's clarify what this display-centric world looks like in more detail. Consumers now want the same high-quality viewing experience on every device they use, whether it be smartphones, tablets, laptops, monitors, or even automobiles. Think about how recent app content and services have been changing. They not only support multiple devices, but also evolve into cross-device user experiences. High definition streaming, games, and high quality photo or video editing are also provided seamlessly across all devices as a result. Now, every device needs great display and improvement in chip performance. Advancements in AI and the spread of 5G will only continue to expedite this trend. To accommodate this, Samsung Display will provide true black seamless display solutions ranging from 1 inch to 200 inches based on various self-luminous displays like OLED, 2D and LED. The value of ultra-realistic high-definition display is in delivering real connections that feel close and intimate, even when we are far apart. In a non-face-to-face -face remote society, this value will become more important. Telephones have been used for a long time, but they are fundamentally limited since they can only deliver voices. Video communication is close to natural face-to-face -face interaction, which will enable more diverse, high-level services in fields like telehealth and entertainment. Accordingly, this place will continue to pursue richer, more beautiful colors, higher brightness, contrast, and clearer images without motion blur. Smartphones, tablets, laptops, monitors. Traditional product segmentation is more confusing than ever. So what is a tablet and what is a laptop? And what is a portable monitor? The improvement in chip performance and cross-device user experience will only intensify this confusion. Eventually, 
IT devices with all their varied use will be differentiated and customized according to individual needs and user cases. And the form factor should be varied to meet these needs. Displays will play a key role through the implementation of foldable, rollable, slideable, and full screen displays. Many people have been looking forward to the mobility revolution led by electric vehicles and autonomous driving. And there have been many changes, both institutionally and industrially, all over the world. The rapid spread of electric vehicles with large batteries and the spacious interior allows them to be reborn as a second home, office, or entertainment room. Eventually, a lot of contents and services for mobile and IT devices will also be optimized for automobile. This means that automotive displays will gradually resemble mobile and IT displays. In addition, a variety of form factors, including foldable, will make important contributions in redefining the automotive spaces. So when it comes to the metaverse, it's easy to just think of VR devices, but it should really be said that all actions and lifestyles made online and digitally belong to the metaverse, even like this SID event. Therefore, it's not only head-mounted AR and VR devices, but you could say that every display that maximizes immersion and augments reality makes up a part of the metaverse. For example, we have large format wall-mounted displays, transparent display windows, mirror displays, and also automotive displays, as they provide a comfortable, immersive environment, including audio. As the role of displays becomes more and more important, I think it is only natural that the level required for display will increase. And the most important technology platform that all these new developments point to is a self-luminous display, which allow pixels to be completely turned off, meaning they can achieve true black. In the era of digitalization, Samsung Display pioneered an era of self-luminous displays with the OLED smartphones. In the era of digital transformation, self-luminous displays will not only be for smartphones, but will expand to all products. Here are some of the key technologies. First is form factor technology. Foldable, rollable, slideable, and stretchable. So we should call it the every Xable and hard for extra large formats. In order to implement these form factors, each require development of optimized modules, backplanes, and equipment. And in the case of large format tiled display, minimizing dead space is a key. I brought some of the demo projects we are developing. This is large foldable display for IT products. And here is multi-foldable display that can be either smartphone or tablet. Imagine the possibilities for devices that these various form factors can realize. Second is full screen and UPC. UPC is the under-panel camera technology. Everyone wants white and clear front screen, but they also need front-facing cameras. So UPC is another powerful trend that cannot be ignored. But it is by no means an easy technology. How could it be easy? We have to make 
transmission windows to get the external light for camera and have enough pixel to emit internal light at the same time. This requires delicate combination of various technical elements. Key challenges include the use of transparent plastic PI, pixel structure design, including transmission windows, and driving algorithms both for display and camera. In particular, it is important to develop a low resistance, transparent electrode material, and a high temperature resistant transparent PI material for low temperature process. Third is a window and module technology for foldable devices. We believe that their use cases can be expanded even more through minimal thickness, extremely radius, and pen solutions. Accordingly, ultra-thin glass, UTZ, which is thin and structurally strong, is of paramount importance. So we are also developing innovative low reflective structure using black matrix and color filter replacing pole. So we are expecting great effect in minimizing thickness and the power consumption. Finally, we have materials. As you may know, materials play a huge role in a self-luminous display. As OLED products are diversified to IT product and automobile, the importance of power consumption and lifespan is increasing. So, continuous improvement efforts for RGB EL, especially blue RDKI. In the case of QD, the conversion efficiency from blue to red and green is the most important. And in order to overcome that limit, it is necessary to develop a new composition of materials. In addition, inkjet materials are being developed for large area patterns. LEDs are also becoming more important. Furthermore, we believe that biosensor embedded technologies, semiconductor technology for micro displays, will also make decisive contributions in opening up new possibilities in related industries, including content, services, and hardware devices. Samsung Display will continue efforts to connect people one by one with a brighter and clearer image. In addition, we have joined the Responsible Business Alliance membership this year, and we will practice responsible management through continuous extension of ESG policy, and will produce eco-friendly products and the manufacturing environment. When I think about the future to come, I'm absolutely excited and thrilled. Let's make this great future for displays happen together. We hope you enjoy a great SID Display Week 2021. Thank you for listening and stay safe and healthy.